Kevin, Michael, John, and I have three days left to build our 13 foot tall robot head to drive up to San Francisco for our robot cosplay competition, which has a grand prize of $1,000. And a last place prize of $3,000. But sh you. No, whatever Michael has in his pocket. I know. Yeah, what's he got? What do you got? This is my truck. Okay. And a nice And a nice. Let's go. The robot cosplay competition is Sunday, July 3rd. At 2 p.m. near the Golden Gate Bridge, all you have to do is build a robot costume, and then we and the giant animatronic robot head are gonna judge you and dish out prizes. Maybe we should, I feel like we should give away open sus tickets too. Yeah, that's cheap. That's free. We give away free prizes. Some surprise prizes. Surprise prizes? Yeah. Like whatever's in Kevin's pockets. <laughs> I have an all access pass. You actually? Yes. Why do you have that? Yesterday we made the frame for the robot head and we stuck a single panel on. Today, we have to put the rest of the panels on and start working on the face. We're going to the metal yard because we didn't get any, what, quarter inch plate or whatever, 316s. What are you looking for, Michael? Dude, anything that looks good. Anything looks good? What is, uh, let me show you I have bad part. news for you. Everything, is, like everything looks good. I love a good metal yard. Yeah. Metal, metal, metal yard, metal yard, metal yard, metal yard, metal yard. I love metal a good yard. metal yard. Okay, we need a plate, we need some strips, and we need things that look cool. Oh, the expanded metal. We wanted the expanded metal, right? I need some thin bar that we can weld on the inside of the outside skin, that sheet metal, to keep it from flexing as much. So if we just, you know, like a dinosaur fin on it, it will stiffen it up so you won't get as much wobbling. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Ugh. How is this wobbly metal gonna make anything stronger? I like wobbly metal. I prefer wobbly metal. All right, we've got our strip, our bar for stiffening the skin. We got our plate for the center hub. Michael's looking for angle iron to shove up his ass. You gonna get a big angle iron or a small angle iron? What do you, what? It looks like big. Big, okay. You've wor you're working your way up. Okay. There's no way this explodes out of the back of the truck, right? So it starts to scrap 81 pounds. Did you get anything? Nice. Uh, do we need any other plate? Can we get any other plate? I got these, like just in case we're making brackets and stuff like that. Okay. 104 pounds. Oh, my ears, Jesus Christ. 104 pounds, and then we have five pieces of the 20 foot, eighth inch, one inch cold roll, hot roll. Now we just leave. You know, I know Michael is rich. Michael buys Dewalt branded ratchet straps, or he's stupid. If he was rich, he wouldn't be helping us right now. How do you think this is going? Do you think we're gonna finish the robot head in four days? No. What do you uh, most, what do you think is, what do you, you know what? Whatever. So you went to the store, you saw Dewalt ratchet straps. Were they the cheaper or the more expensive option? They were pretty cheap. They were cheap. Yeah, oh, I think okay. it was like $9 for both. Oh, that's great. We were just speculating on if you were rich or stupid. Does your truck have these cool little loops yeah. on it? Does it actually? Yeah. Oh man. The truck is fucking awesome. The truck is fucking everything. And also, the bed bigger than this for sure. Really? Yeah. This is like a five foot. How tall are you? Five feet. Wait, are you are you actually only five feet? No, four nine. What the fuck is this? Dude, fuck me, man. Did Kevin? Did you pick this or Kevin picked this? Kevin asked the guy. He said, "Hey, can I have this?" The guy said, "Okay." And then <laughs> Kevin said, "This is an old piece of drill rod." To the guy, and the guy said, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> These Dewalt straps don't work very well. No wonder they were only $9. Oops, it's all scoliosis. Oh, God. This is our box, but underneath our box, we're doing a frame with two inch two. So we're actually gonna go two inches taller. I was wondering where the two inches went. Like, man, two extra inches can mean the world. Uh, we can't really do anything until we get the bottom frame on, I just realized. Or I can cut the panels, but I'm a little afraid to cut them until we have everything. Okay. So you want me to cut the ring on the laser? Yeah. I think Kevin and Michael are doing a great job. Okay, take out your phone and go to crunchlabs.porn. No, you did not. <laughs> there you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's good. Yeah. You, you made a lot of progress. I did make a lot of progress today. Yeah, I, know, I mean, it looks like you guys are all right, but we're coming along really well on the site. I'm really proud of them. And I'm really grateful for them helping with this project because, you know, it's, it means the world to me. Hey, did you ever find those drill motors, Michael? The drill motors, did you ever find those? <laughs> Life is about doing fun things, having fun, and hanging out with your friends. It's not about the destination, it's the journey.
It looks like they're working hard over there, but like, when you get down to it, this, this is the real work. No publicity is bad publicity, Mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also just bought William Osman as a racist.com. Yeah. yeah. If the people around you are making your journey suck, then maybe you should find different people to have around you. I'm avoiding plasma cutting right now. I really don't want a plasma cut. Do I think we're gonna finish time? Dude, this isn't about finishing in time or not finishing in time. This is about giving Will a project and we are with him and we're pretending to do this whole thing. And it's about like capitulating him and what he thinks he's doing so that he's not alone with his own thoughts and kills himself. Flip, 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 flip. All right, how do we do this without exploding it? Okay. Okay. Ah! Okay. So do we weld it like this and just sort of trust it's like flat enough? Yeah. You think so? Um, let's get welding. So I saw Will got one of these like mobility scooters and he put batteries in it and he made it go really fast. So I remembered that I have this mobility scooter and I have batteries and I'm gonna make this go really fast. That was yesterday. You came up with that whole plan in less than one day? I'm a little worried that it's gonna be, if, if we don't make it very flat, that it will be very unflat. It's laying on like the most crooked ass concrete I've ever seen in my life. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have like a 5% idea, of a 5% of a plan right now. Oh, you're, you're looking like it. All right, so while Will was busy welding and I couldn't like, I can't use a laser when he's welding, I kind of modified this wheelchair a little bit. <laughs> this is my e-bike battery. Uh, this is a 10,000 watt motor. And this is like a big, you know, speed controller. The problem is it doesn't have brakes right now. There's no brake on it. There's no brake lever. It just drives the motors in reverse to brake. So I'm doing a test right now at like 3% throttle. Only 3% because I want to see like if I'm going to die. So let's see, 3%. Oh, that's already really fast. Wait, there's no way that's 3%. How, do, how does this work? What's the smallest, like, you can just give it a tiny bit? Well, I think I was giving it a tiny bit. Can you, I, I think it might actually be the controller. Why, does it, why is it doing nothing right now? Oh, it's not plugged in. You want me to plug it in? Oh, this is fucking evil, Kevin. Actually, I think if the wheels spin fast enough, it, it'll just, it's like a drift trike. Oh yeah, but it always has to be. Going like full fast. speed? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You just have to like break through that mental block yeah. and then you can like unleash the full potential. Yeah, that physical block. <laughs> yeah, the mortal block. <laughs> it sounds like shit. Wait, there's no brakes, Kevin. I like him, honestly. He was nice. Yeah, I wonder. I don't think he can stop that. Ready? Yeah, that's, should be doing something. That was it, that was the full 10%, but also that was 10% on a motor that's running probably at like 10% efficiency right now. How much was that motor? $1,000. You think it's totally fucked? Glad it's not my motor. We should we should probably finish building the robot head. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, wait. I'll, I'll find the um the drill the drill. Oh, you're gonna go look for the drill motors. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. You're gonna go for the drill motors. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah I'll grab the drill motors. Okay. Get out of the car, John. We're not getting drill motors. Not today, bro. Not today. Here you go. You tell you tell him I'm looking though. You tell him I'm looking though, right? All right, John. So the brake on the Taylor Dunn doesn't work but the e-brake does. So when I tell you to pull up on the e-brake, I need you to pull up on the e-brake, okay? And, okay. Oh, fucking, ow. oh my God, am I bleeding at all? Am I? This feels like it's gonna bleed. All right, well, we don't have time. We don't have time to, to diddle down. We don't have time to, to bleed out. I finally get to use one of the tools that I bought that I haven't been able to use yet, you know when you do that, you, just, you, you buy shit because you think you'll use it eventually. You wanna grab the thing that smashed me in the skull 10 seconds ago? Fuck that hurt. All right, so this is this is the tool that I bought that I haven't gotten to use yet. You got a spider, you got a spider on you? Oh yeah, it's on your head right now, I see it. It is a roller and the way it works is you have to, 
twist these fucking guys. This is gonna suck ass, these thumb screws. Ah, uh, this is horrible. And then, you, am I bleeding yet? No, no, oh. Every part of this robot is so much bigger than I am realizing. Like, I know how big it is. I made it that big. And, every, but still I'm surprised when I go to do the bits and bops of it. If the mouth is like four feet wide, it means that the corner radius is like 15 inches. Or diameter, did Kevin say diameter is 15 inches? You know, the result of building stuff is always fun, but the process of building stuff is horrible, and I hate it. You draw it in CAD, and you're like, yeah, this is gonna be easy to make, and then the doing it part ends up being a horrible experience, and then you never wanna do anything again until you forget, and you're like, yeah, that wasn't so bad. That's the same, same reason I still go to Arby's, is I forget how bad it is. What I'm trying to say is don't be afraid to build things. Don't be afraid to try. And absolutely, the wisest advice I can give you is to just fucking give up and don't do anything because this shit sucks ass. That's 24. That is, this looks like 15. Let's go, I think that's good enough. This is one of the two mouth corners. The mouth will be like this, and then we'll have like the mouth grill like that. So it'll be like giant like segments inside a robot's mouth like, like this. Yeah, like that. You know what, we don't even have to, we don't have to like really pay attention to the like alignment or anything. None of this fucking matters. Is that 90? I can't ever tell. I don't think it is, but if I go more then it will be more than 90. Put it in this way. Perfect, lock it down. Go up to, sure that. Maybe a tiny bit more. Open it up, pull her out. Got ourselves another robot tooth. One tooth done. Hey, where'd Michael go? Have you seen Michael, Kevin? When's the last time you saw? Yeah, he said he was gonna look for drill motors again. Did you see him? Have you? When's the last time you saw him? A while ago, when he went for drill motors. Didn't you go with him for drill motors? Huh? And he just—that was the last time you saw him. What a mysterious man! All right, got all your parts back, Senior Kevin. Internal supports are being added. You know, audio is one of the most important parts of a video. If you have good audio of a bad video, yeah, crank the ISO up and the shutter speed up. <laughs> How bad could it possibly be? Oh my God. Did you really, did you find like a new button on the <laughs> camera to make it as shitty as possible? You wanna see what it looks like when the video is good but the audio is bad? <laughs> now we all do that demonstration, <laughs> fucking nightmare. This is what it looks like when the video is good but the audio is bad. It's a much, much, much more horrible experience. Oh, okay, John's saying that the current image quality is still kind of shitty, but that's okay because the audio is really bad as well. <laughs> Michael still hasn't found the, the drill motors. I think he might have fucking died. I wonder if uh, the corners themselves are not very straight, corner to corner. Do we give a shit? No, I don't think we give a shit. Yeah, we've got a lot left to do and not a whole lot of time. Got to finish the frame which at this point is just these final welds on the cross supports, the diagonal supports. We gotta put the face on because tomorrow we need to start mechanizing everything. Michael's writing software that's gonna uh, animate every component of the robot and allow people to send it text messages uh, to read out loud, which that I know I'm very excited to see what kind of clever and creative things you ask the robot to say. <laughs> Have you ever welded before? the first time for everything. Put it right there like a hot glue gun. <laughs> that looks like shit. That is fucking awesome. It's robot eye. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, money. Cash, cash, money, money. Robot with cash, money. Robot, money, bucks, robot. Sponsor today's video is Roblox. How can we never get cool sponsorships like Roblox? Uh, all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. If you want, we're one video ahead on sauceplus.com. So if you want to support open sauce, you want to support us, you want to support other creators, sauceplus.com. And for five bucks a month, if you buy a year, seven bucks a month, if you pay by the month. And you get the virtual ticket to open sauce when that happens in like uh, less than a week. Holy shit. Oh, don't remind me. No, I know. That's why we're building the head to advertise, to sell tickets so that open sauce can keep going. So, so we don't have to do this ever again. Yeah, so we, again. Can, we never have to make videos ever again. <laughs>